And I'm bringing you one of the failed uh, quad trains of North Adamas that's actually done happen. I'm going to explain it. All right. Um, this is known as Quatrain 72 of Century 10. The year, 1999. The seventh month from the sky will come a great king of terror to bring back to life the great king of the Mongols. Before and after Mars to reign by good luck. In this Quatrain, they're talking about the king of terror. All right, and nothing happened, right? Not on the seventh month. Not in the year 1999. So they say this is a fail when it's spelled prophecies. All right. North Adamus to me, he he had visions. Um, he didn't miss. He ain't a god or nothing. He ain't nothing like that. But he knew the future. He knew astrology. He took his gift that the Heavenly Father gave him. All right. To warn future generations. Okay. Now, since everyone thinks this one's a fail prophecy, prophet, or whatever you want to call it, you know, they don't really see what happened. All right, so the year is 1999, the seventh month. What's the seventh month in 1999? Well, well, it doesn't even matter. What's the seventh month of the year? You say July? I hear July. You think you're right? You're wrong. The seventh month of the year is October. You say, how is that the seventh month of the year, October? Because January... The first ain't the beginning of the year. All right. The real beginning of the year is April Fool's Day. April the 1st. The beginning of spring. Spring is the beginning of the year. Then comes summer. Then comes fall harvest. Then comes winter death. And then it goes all back around the spring. So the beginning of the year is April. First month's April. Second month May. Third month, June. Fourth month, July. Fifth month, August. Sixth month, September. Seventh month, October. So the year is 1999. The seventh month from the sky will come a great king of terror. Alright. So from the sky, anywhere, comes terror. Doesn't mean terrorist. It means someone that represents terror. Alright. To bring back to life the great king of the Mongols. Alright. So, this, this is deep. Before and after Mars to reign by good luck. So what happened in 1999, the seventh month? Now, I believe in the Bible, in the Holy Name Bible, that been banned since 1966. I believe that the devil can never, ever become a person because the Heavenly Father never gave him the power to create, but he can influence. All right? And... This is his world. He influenced a lot of people. The Antichrist. There's so many Antichrists. Alright. But there's one false Messiah. That's something totally different that we got into. That's the Catholic Church. Alright. Um, that's going to be in a whole other video too. But the Antichrist. Alright. There's going to be a lot of different Antichrists. Big Antichrists that change the world. All right, do you know what happened in 1999 on the seventh month? Donald President uh, Trump, Donald Trump, ran his first time for presidency. You said what? That's not true. It's true. Before he was elected president in 2016, he did one ran one other time for presidential, and that was back in 2000. Um, and check this out. Status, he announced it on October the 7th, 1999, ended February 2000, all right? Now, check this out. Remember, King of King, on October the 7th, 1999, edition of Larry King Live. So, you got King right there, all right? They never said it was terrorists, all right? When you go back, what does it say? The King of Terror, the Great King of Terror. Look at how people are acting with Donald Trump in office. Everyone is terrified. And he brings back to life the great king of the Mongols. Alright. The Mongol umpire. The Mongols. Alright. Because he. Uh, before. Now this says before and after Mars to reign by good luck. Alright. So before he ran as president. And after he ran as president. Mars war. To reign by good luck.
That's all Trump has is the reign by good luck. He says one thing, doesn't mean one thing. And this is one of the car trains that came true. That's about Donald Trump. He ran for presidency. He announced on Larry King Live. All right. Um, he was taking flights back and forth. All right, folks, just read this. The link's going to be at the bottom. All right, now let's go to Century 1. Uh, let's go to Quartrain 157. Okay. All right. And it says, sorry, I didn't have this pulled up already. The trumpet shakes with great discord, an agreement broken, lifting the face to heaven. The bloody mouth will swim with blood. The face anointed with milk and honey lies on the ground. This completely says the trumpet shakes with great discord. All right. All right. So the trumpet, so Donald Trump shake with great dis discord. All right, on this day. All right. You got anointed with milk and honey lies on the ground. All right, so this lifting the face to heaven. All right, so we had a comet that passed during February the 10th week. During that week, President Donald Trump met with Netanyahu and Bush's reset of U.S.-Israel relationship. Let's go back to that. So the trumpet shakes. He was so angry, remember, that week. All right. And agreement was broken. Remember, Israel, uh, Donald Trump doesn't want a two-state. He went back to one state. And that took, I guess, you know, he done broke the agreement. All right. You'd be like, oh, this makes no sense. Lifting the face to heaven. Lifting the face. When that happened, lift the, the face. That During that week, we had a comet that passed. So he took that. Agreement's broken. And he lifted the face to heaven. Because actually that was right. Even though he ain't the right person. But that was right. The Heavenly Father does only want Israel. He doesn't want he Palestine in Israel. So he's lifting the face to heaven. The bloody mouth will swim with blood. Does anyone remember... What happened <laughs> the next day after Netanyahu met with President Trump? President Trump went hammered on the media. All right, he went hammered. The link's gonna be at the bottom. Remember, he he had a bloody mouth. He had a mouth full of rage, a war. Okay, he had a mouth full of rage and war. All right. So when it says, so let me break this down. So the trumpet shakes with great discord. That whole week before, every single day, Donald Trump is just getting angry, angrier, angrier at the media. And then an agreement was broken. All right, So he broke the agreement between Israel and Palestine by saying, I only believe in a one-state solution. Lifting to the face of heaven. He's lifting up to the favors of heaven. The bloody mouth will swim with blood because he got anger and rage and he just wants war. And he went after... Uh, he went after the uh, the the media, remember? And also, what's crazy about that is that the media actually works for Donald Trump. It's just an illusion. But the face anointed with milk and honey lies on the ground. All right, so the face was anointed with milk and honey because milk and honey, all right, if you look at it, milk and honey was Israel. It's actually one of the definitions of Israel. When you look at behind the scene, one day he had gold. And one day he had white. All right, the day that Israel was there, white and gold, milk and honey. The next day, the other way around. And when it says, lies on the ground, the face of oil, milk and hot honey lies on the ground. That means that after that happened, he done killed for a week or two his political thing. Everyone went hammered on Donald Trump. All right. But the greatest thing that, that I learned was that other court train, the 1999. Um, this is just my opinions, folks, and now this done froze up on me while well, I'm trying to stop this, um, but this is the No Face Movement, and like I said, this is my opinion, um, this is some deep stuff, I I just had to show you, uh, North Sudan's quad trains that people said went wrong, but actually it speaks the truth, 
Um, please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook. This is the movement, moving, moving to next time, facing off.